Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Jody Dunning, owner of Okie Dokie Smokehouse, is back with us. She's using a kitchen tool that we pretty much all should own because it's fantastic and showing us yes. something different to do with the crock pot today. I am. This is a fast go-to recipe. Actually, my friend Buffy gave this recipe to me, and I've adjusted a little bit, but um, it is so easy. What it's, are we making? We're making smoked chicken and dumplings. Wow, that sounds good. I know. I brought some smoked chicken from the restaurant, from Okie Dokie's home, and just throw it right in the crock pot. And you didn't First even step. dice it up super small. I mean, just you can keep it in bigger pieces, and it's going to be fine. I throw it in exactly as it is because it's going to cook in the crock pot all day long and throughout that process it's already cooked so it just breaks down further and by the time it's all said and done I, it's going to be shredded apart okay just like chicken and dumplings now here's the easy parts cream of onion soup okay. just add a can of cream of onion soup that gives us our flavor and creaminess i go a little bit light on it i leave some back in it so it's more like three quarters of the can. Um, also cream of celery soup. Now can we use the fat free kind? It yes. may not taste as good. This but is the fat free oh, okay. kind. So In fact that's each. all I could find. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So and then two um, boxes of chicken broth that okay. are already ready. Actually when I'm at home I use the smoky um, broth that we have at the restaurant because it adds an extra dimension but which you can get but um, at home you can just also add this. We then, after I fill it up as much as I can, I just stir it around a little bit and just so that the soup breaks up just a little bit. Okay. Um, then I add peppers. Now, this isn't traditional in chicken and dumplings, but again, I'm always trying to find ways to get veggies into my kids. Absolutely. So green and red peppers adds another flavor, plus it makes it even more colorful. Yeah. And then the secret <laughs> is canned biscuits. I take a can of biscuits and cut them into quarters. And once you throw these in, all you have to do is quarter them, have them as big as you want or as little. That's so easy. I know. I used to make them out from scratch, uh -huh. and I'd roll them out, and my counters would be a mess. And when my friend told me about this, I tried I it. I had no time to sleep. I know. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> all day. And my kids love this because they're biscuits in your soup. So um, you just float them in there. And they also kind of puff up and everything gets done. You put the lid on, you cook it on high. Um, if you come home in the afternoon, you can cook it on high for about four hours or cook it on low all day long. And then everything is finished. The dumplings are perfect and it all blends together. I might have to make this for dinner yeah. tonight. For the recipe, go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link. That's the fastest way. Or you can send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville 28803, smoked chicken and dumplings, made easy using the crock pot, one of our friends, and that's what's cooking today in the Carolina Kitchen.